Hello everyone. Today uh, in this lecture I am going to discuss about uh, synchronous counter. In the previous lectures I have discussed about uh, the asynchronous counter which is otherwise said to be ripple counter. And now uh, we are going to discuss about the synchronous counter. And uh, here also I am going to discuss about the 2 bit uh, counter, up counter, down counter and up down counter and uh, later non sequential counter. Okay. So now uh, coming to your uh, synchronous up counter, down counter everything. So the basic thing uh, we need to do is the, uh, we need to follow these steps to design a up counter or down counter or generally a synchronous counter. State diagram is the first approach and then state table, KMAP and the implementation. Okay. So coming to your state diagram, if it's a 2 bit up counter, okay, if it's a 2 bit up, up counter, so we need to go ahead with uh, uh, 00, 01, 10 and 11. Okay. So this is going to be your state transitions. Whereas for your down counter, it will be acting in the reverse way, like this. Okay. And what about your up down counter? We need one control bit, more control bit. So, for m is equal to 0, let it be an up counter. For m is equal to 1, let it be a down counter. So, now your transitions will be like this for up counter. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. And for your down counter, your transitions will be like this. Okay. So this is for m equal to 0, m equal to 0, m equal to 0 to act as an up counter and m equal to 1, m equal to 1 and m equal to 1 to act as a down counter. So this is up, this is down and this is up down counter. This is all about your state diagram. Okay. Let me go ahead with the state table. So, I am going to uh, discuss with the JK flip-flop, okay. So, JK flip-flop for the up counter. So, the present state if it is 0, 0, the next state will be 0, 1 and the present state 0, 1, the next state will be 1 0 and 1 0 1 1 and 1 1 0 0 okay so this is about the present state and the next state we need two flip flops because it's a two bit counter for representing this uh, bits so j1 k1 let it be the first flip flop j2 k2 will be the second flip flop okay so now, this is the excitation table of JK flip flop. So look here, you need to go ahead with this one and this one, right. You need to go ahead with Q and Q plus for getting back your state. And uh, if I tell this, instead of this Q plus, let it be this is Q1 and uh, Q2, not bar. And this is Q1 plus and uh, Q2 plus, not bar. Okay, because we need two flip-flop, right? I am not going to take bar of particular flip-flop. Because here, two flip-flops we need. This is Q1 and this is Q2. And Q1 and Q2, Q1 
one and q two plus state q one plus and q two plus let it be the next state. So the present state zero zero means the next state zero one, and uh, for present state zero one means one zero and on and on. So I let me check with uh, this uh, q one and q one plus first. First q one and q one plus, and then q two and q two plus. So this is q one zero 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 means zero uh, x. And uh, zero one means one zero one means one x, and one one means x zero. Look at the excitation table and write one zero means x one. And similarly here, zero zero means zero x. I need to go ahead with q two and q two plus. And one zero means it is x one, and zero one means it is one x, and uh, one one means it is x zero. Okay, so we need uh, to uh, decide uh, what should be the input of the flip flop. Okay, what should be your uh, input of the flip flop? So now, guys, I have filled up the table K map uh, by looking at the state table. Now, uh, let me take Q one, Q two because I need to decide uh, the next state and your uh, flip flop input. So for that, this will be your uh, input. Uh, for your K map, so Q1, Q2, Q1, Q2, Q1, Q2. So four variable K map because two variables we are taking into consideration. So by looking at uh, this, uh, namely your J1, K1, J2, K2, I have filled up this. And uh, here, by looking at the state table with Q1 and Q2 as the inputs. Need to decide what is going to be at the uh, uh, input of the flip flop, uh, and uh, sorry, by looking at the present state, we need to decide the next state and the input of the flip flop. So we need to go ahead with the K map for uh, deriving the expression with the present state as uh, your variables and derive the expressions for J1, K1, J2, K2. I have filled up. This by looking at the columns of J1, K1, J2, K2, and then write down the expression for J1. So J1 plus Q2 and uh, K1 plus again Q2 and uh, J2 is going to be Q1. K two plus Q two one. So J one K one is equal to Q two. So let me write it here. J one is equal to K one is equal to Q two. And J one J two K two is equal to Q one bar. So I have already uh, drawn the two flip flops, uh, provided all the resets are connected together, all the clocks are connected together because this is uh, going to be a synchronized uh, counter. So J1, K1 uh, tie it, and J2, K2 also tie it because J2, K2 is going to be your Q1 bar, whereas J1, K1 is going to be Q2. Okay. So this is about the implementation of your up counter. In the same way, uh, the state table of the down counter is just drawn. Let me write. So again, down counter. If my present state is zero zero, what will be your down counter? Zero 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 one one zero and one. Down counter it will be like this. Right? So it will be one one. And if it is one one, it will be one zero. And if it is one zero, present state is one zero, it will be zero one. If the present state is zero one, it will be zero zero. Again, look ahead and uh, fill up the table. For uh, this one, this is uh, Q one and Q two, Q one plus and Q two plus. So Q one and Q one plus will be one thing, one combo. 
in C2 in C2 plus we get another combo. So for deriving this one J K J1 K1, this is going to decide your J2 K2. So J1 K1 um, 0 0 means 0 x and uh, this is going to be 0 1 right. 0 1 means uh, 1 x. I'm sorry, this is 1 x and uh, next one is 1 1 1 1 is x 0 and 1 0 is x 1 and uh, 0 0 is 0 x. Similarly, uh, J to K2, 0, 1, 1x, 1, 1x, 1, 0x1, and then 0, 1, 1x again, and 1, 0x1 again. Uh, look at your uh, thing and fill up your K map K1 K2 K1 K2 K1 K2 K1 K2 This is going to be J1 K1 K2 K2 So by looking at the table I have again uh, again I have filled up this table now J1 is going to be again your Q2 bar, and K1 is again your Q2 bar because this is 0 and 0 and all the 4 we are going to combine so here also all the 4 we are going to combine J1 equal to K1 is equal to 1. So coming to your implementation J1 K1 should be Q1 bar. implement your two bit up down counter okay so before that so this is going to be the state so x or m here uh, instead of more control bit the control bit i took it as x so for zero means it is up counter and uh, if it is one means it is going to be acting as a down counter so zero means up counter so zero means zero 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 one zero and J1, K1, again you need to put it up. So this is Q1 and Q2. Q1 plus Q2 plus. So again combine these two. Whereas Q1 and Q1 plus will be for J1, K1. Q2 is equal to Q2, K1. So fill up the table again. And uh, 0, 0. It is 0, X. Thank you.
for your J2, K2 is 0, 1. And subtract that is taken by the film on the excitation table. Next, we will go ahead with the K map. Now, there are uh, three inputs for the K map. So, your X, Q and Q2. So, it is a three way with the K map with the L states. Okay. So, like this, I need to go ahead. Filled up the uh, game up here by looking at the state table of J and that were the columns of J1, K1, J2, K2. So for J1, we have to all we are going to compare because it is all known case so J2 plus K2 is equal to X. Okay. This is how you will be implement your uh, two bit uh, down counter, up down counter. And next one is your non sequential counter. And your non sequential counter. So let it count this count. Uh, the sequence of counting will be one, three, and five. It is again. It has to get back to one. Okay, like this. For example, if you have, uh, so we need a three bit because it's uh, one zero one is the maximum number of bits is one zero one eight. So we need three bit flip flop here. So yeah, first your state diagram will be uh, zero one and one 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 zero one. I am taking minimal number of states. So 0, 0, 001, 0, 1, 1, and 101. 1. Okay. So this is how uh, your non sequential counter has to work. So now coming to your present state, we need two flip flops Q1, Q2, three flip flops. So Q1 plus, Q2 plus, and Q3 plus. And according to your, let it me take a delay flip flop because that will be easy d2 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 so if my current state is 0 0 1 the next state will be 0 1 1 and the next state will be 1 0 1 
I have to take like this. If my current state is 0, 0, 1, then my next state is 0, 1, 1. And if my present state is 0, 1, 1, my next state is 1, 0, 1. And if my present state is 1, 0, 1, my next state is 0, 1. According to the same number 0, 0, 1, as like your Q and D will be same. And uh, that is your D flip flop, right? Q plus and D plus is same. If you compare your Q and Q plus, you need to combine whatever there in your Q plus that has to appear. That is your delay flip flop, right? So, this has to be Z, as like your Q and plus 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1. So, now if it is a D flip flop, I need a uh, now it's a 3 bit flip flop again. The rest all are down case states. The other states are down case states. You need to fill up this with x x x. Because that is not going to occur. For simplification purpose, we can take it as x x x intermittently, namely for 0 0 0 it is x x x. It is not going to occur at all. And then put this inside your uh, k map and simplify it and present it. So, don't care can be used for simplification. Okay, with this I will stop today.